the media continue to propagate the nonsensical story that EVs are bad for the environment, that it takes many years for them to catch up to the environmental impact of a very green on the environment internal combustion engine car. Well, that's not the case. In fact, it's totally false. There's a very good reason why that's false. It's because recycling of EV batteries has exploded this year. It's unbelievable the change within 12 months to the global recycling industry. It won't be long now before electric vehicle batteries simply come from another battery. One of the key reasons why the price of battery minerals, whether that's lithium, nickel, cobalt, all of those things that I'm sure you're very aware of, one of the key reasons why the price of all of them has come down drastically this year is something that none of us have really paid any attention to. China is doing something interesting, and it's so strange that none of us have noticed this. They're doing something with batteries, and it makes so much sense that I've got to say I'm a big fan. Here's what they're up to. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. It's been an interesting week this week in EV land. Now, we've just learned that China is using an enormous amount of recycled battery minerals in new battery packs. It's already happened. The ecosystem is beginning to come full circle. Now, we're not there yet. Of course, we need probably... I'd say maybe 15 years to get there fully. But what a future this is. I mean, what a great future this is. And I'm not not talking about China manufacturing here. I'm talking about the future of not needing to mine lithium, nickel, cobalt, uh, all of these precious metals. Now there's others, graphite, you know, you know the rest, you know them all. But eventually we won't need to mine them at all. And this is happening quicker than I think anyone predicted. And when I say that, the reason is the technology we have available to actually recycle these minerals has drastically improved, making battery packs much more recyclable. But remember, as we start to see all this production ramp up and increase, this is the intriguing part about this scenario, right? Let's say you have a battery pack. Let's say you have a BYD 803. Let's say you have it for whatever years. Maybe it's used as a taxi. So it does 50,000 kilometers a year. After six years, it's done 300,000 kilometers. The, the car's been well and truly used, and maybe it has, maybe it's in a crash or something like that. Anyway, let's say the energy density of that battery pack is around 160 watts per kilo. Not too bad, but not great. Isn't this cool to think of it this way, right? The pack gets recycled, the minerals get taken out of that pack, the lithium, and then it goes into a new pack that has a higher energy density. New lithium ion phosphate batteries have a higher energy density, especially when the pack has been out for a few years. By the time it's recycled, it's going to go into a new pack, which will unquestionably have a higher energy density. Look at the new LFP batteries. Their density is improving almost every single year. M3P battery pack, right? Lithium ion phosphate pack with manganese added to the battery. Energy density goes up by what? 15%. That's the amazing future of battery packs. Think about it, the battery in your car, eventually the minerals in that battery will go into a new battery, which will be better than the battery in your car. When could you ever say that about an engine? They're not even recycled, engines in cars. For the most part, they're not even recycled. Now, the great thing is, CNN Post has just reported that China recycles more batteries or has recycled more batteries in the first five months this year than all of last year. That shows you that the recycling capacity in China and the technology has drastically improved. Battery recycling is growing at an incredible pace in China. From January to May, China recycled 115,000 tons of lithium batteries, more than the total amount for the whole of last year. So five months more than 12 months. That's amazing. China is continuously enhancing its resource or battery recycling capacity, its ability to extract different minerals from the batteries and actually efficiently and quickly turn them back into what's needed for a new battery pack. They've built more than 10,000 recycling outlets for used batteries, more than 10,000. Imagine where they'll be at by say 2030. As the next step, says CNF Post, the country will study and formulate management methods for recycling batteries for EVs and continuously improve the recycling system. 
China's EVs have seen explosive growth over the past three years, selling 6.9 million units in 2022, up 96% from 2021. In the first half of this year, China's EVs amounted to 3.75 million, up 45% versus the first six months of last year. China's NEV sales, meaning plug-in hybrids and EVs put together, will reach around 9 million this year, say expert analysts. Currently, the penetration rate of EVs is lower in the more rural cities or the uh, less well-known cities, say cities that are not Shanghai and Beijing. But apparently what's going to happen is further construction of charging facilities. The Chinese government is going to focus on these rural areas to build more charges and basically try to enact policies. All these other cities outside of Shenzhen, Beijing and Shanghai will buy a lot more EVs because they'll feel a lot more confident to do so. So it appears that EV growth will not slow down in China over the next few years. With the rapid development of the EV industry, the the battery recycling industry is getting a huge amount of attention. Businesses are propping up saying, hey, here's a new opportunity. Obviously, the Chinese government is trying to help this work as well. I'm sure they're investing money into it as well. The global battery recycling market will exceed $15 billion by 2025 and reach $150 $150 billion, that's US dollars by 2027, according to a previous forecast by market research firm GGII. That's a lot of billions. There's a lot of companies in China saying, we want a slice of that. By 2030, the volume of retired batteries in China will reach 437 gigawatt hours with a recycling value in the tens of billions of dollars. The potential of the sector has attracted many startups. And on the 4th of January, electric vehicle company NEO announced that it had invested into a recycling battery company. This is the next frontier of the companies that will profit from EVs. We're going to see some massive companies. Now, we've seen Redwood, right? I'm sure you've heard about Redwood because an ex-Tesla board member moved away or an ex-Tesla staff member moved away from Tesla and actually started Redwood Materials, which is, I think, going to be likely the biggest recycling company in North America, or at least in the United States. And we've heard how they can extract metals from EV batteries in a new method, which enable them to get the lithium and the precious metals out of those batteries when before it was much harder to do. So this is happening in the US, it's happening in Canada, and it's happening in a very, very big way in China. I'm amazed at the growth in battery recycling in China. Clearly, companies have just figured out ways to do this that they weren't able to before. This is actually really good news because it means EVs are much greener than what the global media have been saying. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.